Hey everybody, this is Chris, aka Spider-1A, and ho, ho, holy crap, Christmas was quite a while ago. So why am I still wearing this hat? I don't know, it was my first ever vlog, and I thought, you know what? Let's try to do something festive, something cool. Plus, I still have the tree up, you know, and I'm just about to take it down this weekend, and eh, nice location. I don't know, don't ask me. I was talking to a friend of mine, Johnny, the, uh, you probably know him as the Happy Console Gamer. We were chatting on Skype, and I said to him how much I enjoy doing the Q&A videos, which you can find in my previous uploads, because it gave me an opportunity to sort of talk with you guys, you know, for you guys, and, and reveal some stuff, instead of it just being a Turbo Graphics review or a pinball overview or something like that that my channel is known for. It gave me a way to interact with you. And he had suggested that I, well, I'll do a vlog. And I said, yeah, I don't know. Is anybody really going to care about stuff that I do that, you know, doesn't have to do necessarily with stuff that is on the channel? Heck yeah, they're going to. They're, they're, they're going to enjoy it. You should do one a couple times a month. <laughs> he sounds nothing like that, by the way. But he's the one that sort of convinced me that, you know, maybe that would be kind of fun. It would be a way to reach out to you guys. So for this first vlog, I planned something festive. <laughs> I, uh, I planned a little trip. I got a package to open, which is behind me, and I got a little bit to tell you about myself. But honestly, I, aside from talking to you on my channel about some updates, here's what we're doing on the channel, I've never really done this before. So I'm going to rely on you to sort of leave a comment below and tell me, what would you like me to do with this? You know, do you want me to answer some questions? If I get something in the mail, you want me to open it? Which, you know, I see a lot of vloggers do. I mean, most of the people that I follow that have vlogs... Uh, they have cute little dogs or something that they, you know, have bark and howl and do fun stuff and I just have me. So, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. This is actually, uh, it's Saturday right now. I'm not sure when you're going to actually see this, but it's the first time in a long time that I've had to sit down and actually do something. Um, as far as the channel is concerned, I'm working on TurboViews 100 and 101 because I am playing 101 when I get a chance. And 100 is going to be uh, kind of something a little special, so it's going to take a while to do, but you know what? It's going to be fun, so I'm working on that. I got some great pinball stuff. I'm actually wearing my Total Nuclear Annihilation shirt right now, which you can't see in the video, but uh, I got that for Christmas. It's a great gift. I actually went to Jersey Jack Pinball and interviewed the man himself, Jack, and I have a really great video coming out about Dialed In uh, at some point when I can get to it. Um, so I thought um, that would be a little update on the channel. If you watch the Q&A and stuff, you know that I... I uh, do a lot of theater and, and performing and that kind of stuff. And I actually am in a show right now called The Butler Did It. And I played um, um, Tony Lefcourt, who's the director of the play within a play. So, but if you look, I don't know if you can see this, but all that yellow, I'll just drop the schedule, all that yellow right there, those are pretty much my lines. It's a pretty line heavy show. So when I've had a free moment to myself, it's either rehearsing or it's memorizing lines so it's 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 tough to actually have a free moment and this is the first weekend i have a chance to actually do something other than that um as much as i love it you know it's nice to have a moment or two uh actually before i take this tree down real quick sidebar um i have my little sound wave transformer uh from hallmark i got that uh this year he's really cool that's a really nice representation of the toy and also one of my favorite ornaments which is pinball related is little santa claus playing pinball. It actually makes noise every time you plug the tree in, a little ding, 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 ding noises. And it's, uh, I got that, I think in 1996. It's a Hallmark ornament from 96. That's actually one of my favorites, but uh, yeah. So it's time to take it down for another year, but I just wanted to point that out. I got something in the mail today. This is actually from Stern Pinball. I think I know what it is, but I thought we'd go ahead and open it here. Uh, for those of you who are not pinball people, uh, if there's a problem with the game or something like that, they'll do service bulletins. Uh, and they'll release tech information or something. And Stern actually released service bulletins for their recent... Uh -huh, yep, that's what it is. They released tech bulletins for these particular items here. Uh, what we have here is a core node stabilizer kit, as well as... Uh, this one's called the capacitor service kit. And uh, basically, behind me, I've got Ghostbusters and Aerosmith both of which are affected by 
the shorting out of the boards or whatever the heck is going on that they release these service kits for. So I put in an order from Stern for both of these. They sent these free of charge and they just showed up today. Uh, I have a video planned. I actually did a Ghostbusters uh, cabinet swap as well as a couple other things to dialed in. So I think we'll go ahead and add this to that video. It's just like kind of a pinball update video that I'm working on. So anyway, we've got these kits in the mail from Stern. Thank you, Stern. It's been months and months and months, but I, I want to go on a Transformers toy hunt. Uh, you know, guys know I collect Transformers off and on. Uh, last year's Titans Returns, I absolutely loved. This Power of the Prime stuff that they're releasing now, I'm kind of iffy about, but they put out some Generation 1 Dinobots. And even though I'm kind of Dinobotted out a little bit, I kind of want to check them out. I, I might not end up liking them. Not too sure about Grimlock. But if I can find them on the store shelf, I'm going to pick them up. So I got a Walmart... Toys R Us, Target, there's a couple other Walmarts we can go to that aren't too far if that one, the first one strikes out, which is the closest one to my house. So I thought we'd take a ride and see if we can find anything. Like I'll go on a little, little toy hunt together. I'm looking for Swoop, I'm looking for Slug or Slag, and I'm looking for Grimlock. So we'll see if we can find any of those guys. Probably not, haven't been that lucky lately with that kind of thing. But then again, I haven't done it in a while. Like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to do anything like this. So this will be fun. I haven't been able to get out there and going. So uh, let's go together, shall we? And yeah, I'm gonna wear the hat. <laughs> let's head into Walmart here and uh, see if we can find any of these Power of the Primes figures for the snow hits again. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like we got Starscream, uh, but Grimlock would have also been in this assortment is gone. Already got Wind Charger. There's Beachcomber, yeah. And here's uh, Dreadwind. So again, <laughs> yeah, no luck. Uh, I guess we're striking out. All right, well, so far we're we're striking out. Uh, Walmart had a, a lone star scream and um, Target had a couple star screams, but really nothing much else that I was interested in. It looks like the Dinobots have been picked clean, which I guess doesn't surprise me, but um, Toys R Us. So far, <laughs> we are striking out everywhere. And honestly, eh, the way Toys R Us marks some stuff up, if I actually see it, I might not even buy it. Right? I can't get in trouble. No. Yeah. That's right. Will you kind of like this one? Oh, snap. He went there. He burned you. He burned you. He said, I'm in trouble because I didn't bring you. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Swoop. Swoop. They have hand slug. All right. Well, this finally was a worthy. All right. Well, it looks like uh, happy Valentine's Day to me, <laughs> which is still not for a few weeks, but we'll say that it is. Boxes are a little. Oh. Looks like this Walmart also had has some stuff here. We got Swoop, we got Slug. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Slash just to complete the Dinobots, at least the new versions. And here's the good news. Yes, we got ourselves Grimlock, so we have completed the first wave I was looking for. Very cool. Okay, so I found out a couple things today. Number one, my car is out of wiper fluid. That's number one. Number two, I also figured out that apparently doing a vlog where I go around for the first time in months and try to find some things for the Transformers collection uh, actually equals success because <laughs> the second to last Walmart we went to had Swoop, had, had Slug, and the last Walmart we went to had a Grimlock and the little mini one there. Um, 
So I would say all of you are immense good luck charms. And I think from now on, I'm going to have to bring you with me every time I go hunting in the next uh, month or two when there's something else maybe that I'm looking for. So all I can say to all of you is thank you. And we're back. And ladies and gentlemen, like I said on the drive, you guys are good luck charms. Holy cow. Found nothing the first three places and then boom, boom. So from now on, when I go on a trek, I'm going to have to take you with me. <laughs> Not sure if you really enjoyed that or not, but it was kind of fun. You get to go shopping with Chris or toy shopping with Chris. Now, if I ever get a chance to actually open these, it'll be a different story, but I'll show these off here. At the first place that we found stuff, I got Slug. And those of us who are fans of Generation 1 Transformers know him as Slag, but I guess uh, there's a reason why they can't use that name anymore. I guess it has to do with a curse word. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, Swoop who I was actually probably the most looking forward to uh, because I was always a fan of Swoop when I was younger. And then we picked up this little mini guy. I wasn't going to get him originally, but I thought, eh, what the heck, I'll go ahead and sprinkle for him too since I'm in a good mood. Got a raise at work. Might as well celebrate it somehow. And finally, me Grimlock, no bozo, me king. We got Grimlock here. Uh, not sure, he might be a little hippie, but that's because they made these guys combiners, and I think uh, they might have sacrificed a few things, but I gotta be honest, why not? Let's give it a shot. So, there you go, maybe we'll open those in another video sometime. Um, well, that's it, folks. That's the end of the vlog. I, I don't know if you found this interesting at all. I kind of enjoyed it, it was fun talking to you guys. It was fun chatting with you. It was fun taking you on a trip and showing you a couple things. Uh, let me know below what you think and if there's something else you'd like to see next time and uh, I'll catch you later.